when you're a human being, <laughs> you are always from an biological perspective. Now we can transcend that and do what's right for us to achieve our goals and all this sort of thing. But we are wired to move from negative emotion to positive emotion. And more often than not, I think that the major issue that we have a tough time with in this day and age is boredom. Boredom is the thing that is just getting at us. It's why we we behave in the ways we do. It's why we can't bear to be with ourselves because we haven't practiced being bored. You know, there is so much truth, uh, wonder, um, personal growth that comes from just being bored. And very quickly, you start to realize that if I sit alone, what I'm actually doing is befriending myself. I'm learning more about who I am. You know, I'm growing because the only way to get to know yourself is to spend time with yourself. So just fighting against that itch to medicate and distract yourself and numb the, the pain that boredom brings um, can be can be really, really powerful. But more often than not, I think boredom is the killer. And this is why we engage in these habitual um, behaviors. And now, you know, with the whole virus and many of us are having to spend so much time indoors, it's a really good test for us to see how well we can transcend that boredom. And if we can't, trying to bring consciousness to that. So one of the things I say to my clients is, you know, if you're really struggling with this, let's just say, for example, you eat too much um, after dinner, you snack because it's Netflix time and you're just going. Try not to shame yourself for it because shaming puts you into that negative spiraling state of emotion. And because you're in that pain, you just want to bring yourself right out of it into the positivity. So the best thing to do is to medicate yourself with more food straight away. It's a quick, it's a quick fix. Rather than shaming yourself for it, try to be really, really conscious of the fact that you are allowing this behavior to occur. So if I'm eating too much food, I'm sitting there with my bowl of chips. I'm saying, yes, Tom, every chip that I put in my mouth, this is my decision. I'm doing this. I'm doing it. See how truthful you can be with yourself. I'm doing it because I don't want to feel the pain boredom brings. I swear to God, I've seen this happen over and over again. Not only anecdotally, I've read about it. I've seen it with clients. The more consciousness you bring to the habit, gradually the habit starts to dissipate because you can't, you're not hiding from yourself anymore. The habit is just there to um, blast your brain off into unconscious land so that you don't have to deal with pain. But if you're bringing consciousness back into the behavior, you're allowing yourself to be there. You're really, really aware that you're acting independently. It starts to dissipate because the truth reveals itself over time. I know I'm doing this because I lacked external validation when I was younger. I know I'm doing this because I'm simply bored. I know I'm doing this because it once served as an effective coping strategy from when I was traumatized. It comes up. Consciousness uh, bridges the gap between the mammalian part of the brain and the and the conscious aspect, the, the front part of the brain. It, it really does that. So be really, really conscious of it. Hey guys, if you enjoyed the content, uh, you are more than welcome to click the link in the description below. That will take you right to a free webinar where I will be taking you exactly through how to design a framework for your life and create that mission that will bring about a sense of intrinsic value to you. Go for it.